Hey guys, this is going to be a video on SuperMO task lists. So for those of you that don't know how they work, uh, let me let me just show you a quick one. So this is a task list of fun things that I want to do. And uh, unlike normal task lists, SuperMO task lists aren't sorted by the value of a task. They're sorted by the value divided by the time. Uh, so in this case, you can see that this one is the highest value. But because it takes longer, I, it only gets a 4.17. So it's lower than the winter swimming in lake. Uh, now, using task lists, we can have, say, 10,000 tasks and not go and say managing them because we can just go through them in linear order. Uh, so I find them fairly helpful for just managing all the stuff I have to do. Without task lists, I think, it, or without super emo task lists, it becomes very, very complicated managing too many tasks. Um, so there are a few weaknesses of these kind of tasks. They don't really work well with dependencies, and they also aren't ideal for deadlines. You can handle deadlines, but it's not really ideal. But I think there's still a huge class of... Uh, tasks that they're still very useful for so i recommend that you all try them out so if you do want to try them out for yourself in your own collection now uh what you need to do is first off click on edit and then do create a task list so let's name this task list tasks since it's going to be about or actually better yet videos it'll be about different videos that i want to make um and once you've done and gone and added that task list what you can do is press F4, or or you can go to Toolkit, Task List, and it'll just pull it up that way too. Both are valid options. Now, um, there, there are a few videos I have in mind. So the first one might be my incremental writing video. Now this one, I thought it would be quick, but I want to make a decent video. So it's going to take me, let's see, maybe 40, I'll make it 45 minutes. Uh, actually, let's overestimate that using planning fallacies. Let's say 60 minutes. That's, that's how much my uh, last video took. Now, value. How important is this? So there are a bunch of ways that you can measure out value. Now, in this case, what I'm going to think about is uh, if, let's say, 100 people saw this video, how much better would their super emo experience be? Um, in terms of, hmm, I guess a percentage. So for the average incremental reader, with incremental writing, how much better do they get? I would I would say yeah, 50%, maybe 60%, yeah, maybe. And so it's sort of, you can see it's sort of guessing, but it, it's generally, it's, even if it is guessing and vague and based on just intuition, it's still generally gonna be much better than uh, just sorting by these random criteria of just value by itself, but yeah. So the other video I wanted to work on is incremental video, yeah. Now, this one, I'd say, is, uh, is a lot less valuable. I'd say it's just 15%. Nah, 10%, 10%. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of it. But, uh, yeah. So, for time, this one won't take me as long as the other one because it's a bit more straightforward. And uh, the incremental writing one has a lot more philosophy behind it, which makes it harder. And uh, let's see. What are some other ones? So, Control-O. This is a shortcut that is very, very useful. And hopefully, when I make the video, you'll see what it does. Um, this one is like 5%, but it'll take me all of like 15 minutes, right? Not very hard. There's one more. What was it? Ah, yes, SMA shortcuts. So there's a way that you can open up your collection directly with an SMA shortcut. So this one I'll give a value of, yeah, it's, again, it's not that high value. This one's a little bit more involved, so 20. And uh, let's round it out with one more video. Let me think, let me think. Hmm. Um, I guess themes. <laughs> How to use themes. It, it's pretty simple, but I think a lot of people don't realize that you can do it. So I'll make a very, very simple one on that. Yeah, so now you can see I have this list of videos. Um, and yeah, it's not, it's not very complicated and I can just go down the list. And this is how it works at the most basic level. So I know that the interface is a bit weird, but uh, you can press this button. Or actually, is it this one? One of these buttons, it should show up in your screen. Let me just reopen it. Yeah, you can press this one and it'll it'll uh, add a task. Um, but uh, there's something else. Yeah, I think I think that's the the this is the main basics of it. Uh, you might notice that it made some corresponding strange gear icon uh, topics, right? Now these are just like you can sort of ignore these when they pop up, or you can use a separate collection so they don't come up in IR. Um, but these are just sort of there to remind you that the thing exists. So if, if you dismiss something from here, 
Um, so let's say I dismiss this, then you'll notice that it also disappears from our task list. Yeah, so it's just, it's just gone. Um, so you don't want to dismiss them if you can avoid them, but you can just give them a really long interval if you don't think it's useful. I, I found it sort of useful to be reminded of uh, possible things that maybe I should consider doing while just doing IR. But yeah, so now for something fancier. So something I'm currently working on is uh, making a deck of cards from superemo.guru for a project. Um, or for an experiment to be to be more precise, but now this this has a pretty clear value. This is really important. I, I have to finish this, uh, and then in terms of time, this is going to take me quite a while as well. It might take me say two hours. Um, well, let me let me estimate the the value a bit more specifically. So in terms of value, it's probably probably okay. If it was only doing it for myself, it'd be an eighty. But I'm doing it as a dependency for a big project, so I think it's. Yeah, maybe even a bit more important because a lot of people are depending on me here. Now, the other thing though about this is that it has a deadline. I need to finish it by a specific date. So if you want to add in a deadline, what you can do is you can do standard and then you can put deadline. And uh, I need to finish it by next Sunday. And what you'll notice is that the value time decreased more than 150 by 120. And uh, what the deadline function does is it basically reduces the priority and increases it slowly and it becomes max at the deadline day. Um, now what this lets you do is just put off stuff until until it gets closer to the deadline. So you're not just doing all this work in advance uh, when there might be more valuable tasks to do instead. So using this, you can sort of manage deadlines. Um, now there, there are some other options here you might notice. So this post date basically makes the value zero until we get to the deadline. Decline, what that does is after Let's say that this was due on the 10th, right? Now, oh, am I using it wrong? I am probably using it wrong. Let me change this up. Okay, I'm definitely doing something wrong, but the idea behind decline is that um, it changes the value, it decreases the value after the date. Or actually, no, it decreases the value. Ah, yes, so it decreases the value from today onwards. Now, post decline is interesting. Now, what post decline does is it decreases the value of the task after after a date. Um, so let's say that I was supposed to wish my friend happy birthday on December um, 2nd, right? Now, the value is going to slowly increase over time as it gets farther and farther from that day. Um, or at least it should. I, I think I'm doing something wrong, but um, there, there's some decent documentation that I'm going to link in the description about some of these functions. Uh, though I generally think that you're only going to need these in like, say, 10% of cases. Generally, just using none and just using normal value time is going to be enough. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's about it for task lists. So one thing that I might cover in a future video is uh, one thing that's inconvenient about them is that you have to have Supremo open and then press F4 to get it to open. Um, and if you're using the task list for your entire life, you want to have it at quicker draw than that. So I have a uh, auto hotkey script where if I press um, a specific key, let me, let me just find it. So it's control app key on my desktop, it looks like. It'll just pull up my task list. If I press it again, it just disappears. Um, so I do have to set up some stuff for that, but I found that pretty useful. So I might make a video on that in the future. But uh, anyways, so that's, that's it from me. If you have any questions about task lists or any other videos you want to see, just let me know. Thanks for watching.